In the beginning of this channel I did mostly videos around the Leica MD here. For those who haven't seen the videos or don't know what the Leica MD is, it is a digital Leica M system with no back screen. And after having shot with Nikon and Fuji for over 10 years, I finally did the switch to Leica because of exactly this camera. And I was mentioning in those videos that one of the reasons that drove me to Leica was exactly this model and the simplicity and the idea behind it. But afterwards I shot a roll on this box camera and I also did a video on this one and it is way simpler in terms of functionality and options and I will talk also a little bit more about this camera if you haven't seen the other video. And then a couple of weeks back I bought the Holga here, an even simpler camera than the box camera and shot two rolls of it. And while doing so, and it already started to dawn on me when I shot with the box camera, the term simplicity in the context of photography might be a little bit deeper than just simple equals easy. What's up everyone? My name is Marcus from DM Photography and in today's video I want to talk a little bit about the term simplicity in the context of photography. Let me first start explaining to you what is so special about the Leica MD or the Leica M system in general, even if they have a screen, uh, compared to the cameras that I was shooting before, mainly SLRs and um, the Fuji system like the X100S. So the Leica M system has the minimum controls that I have seen on a camera that allows me to take any picture that I want. So you have a focus ring where you can manually focus, so there is no autofocus. You have aperture control on the lenses um, with the M system. You have the shutter speed on top. And in this case, for this camera, you have the ISO dial in the back here. And this basically stripped everything away. I didn't like about the other digital cameras and cameras that had computer systems in there that were doing things like uh, processing your image, uh, measuring the light in different ways, uh, and so on and so forth, and reduced it to these three simple controls that allow me to take any picture that I want uh, for the photography that I do, which is mainly, uh, mainly people and street photography. Now, when I then... Um, tried out the box camera here, I reduced this functionality further and this one has a shutter here with a fixed shutter speed. It has um, up here the focus control, so it has three focus settings, uh, one to two meters, two to eight meters and eight meters to infinity, nothing more, so no really precise focus. And it has three aperture settings, um, f11, f16 and f22. And this is all, so with these settings, you need to be able to um, control the picture and the composition that you want to take. And the only um, variable that you have is the film uh, or the film speed that you use when loading this camera. Now, if you um, take the Holga, this reduces it even further. And also, as you see, I pimped my Holga a little bit with uh, stickers here or here, for example, um, to make it a little bit more personal. But uh, what this camera does, it has a focus setting here, which is basically a um, mountain, which means anything that is very, very far away. You have uh, a group of people, maybe something that is like around six meters away from you or 10 meters away from you, a smaller group of people, for example, maybe a family portrait and one person, which is um, basically made for the portrait mode. You have a sun symbol here and mountains. This basically says um, you're shooting at f8 um, or you're shooting at f11. And then you have here a dial that you can turn to load um, or um, forward basically the film to the next image. And so this is uh, massively reducing uh, functionality from the Leica MD and reducing the functionality a little bit from the box camera. <clears throat> So now you would say, okay, this is simple, so it should be very easy to take pictures. And in one sense, um, this is true. 
But what I realized as someone who uh, was already taking photos for more than 10 years and pretty much knowing about exposure and what you can do with a camera, this camera limits you. Now, you can say limits you is good because it forces you to be creative. And I would agree with that to a certain extent because if you take technically correct photos with the settings here, uh, you will be forced to be more creative. The same, by the way, happens or holds for the box camera. Now, when I shot the two rolls um, on this camera myself, um, things were happening that I didn't really like. And one of the things that I didn't really like was that there was no indication here, nor on the box camera, that I already used um, this shot that was indicated in the film counter here. So I was never really sure, uh, did I forward the film already? Or um, do I still need to do so? I mean, Holger did that and also on the box camera that you can also play with multiple exposure. So you can uh, shoot multiple times on the same um, negative basically. But um, if you don't want to do that, you need to pay attention to that or come up with some kind of strategy um, which helps you determine if you already took the shot on this frame. Uh, for example, like you take the shot and immediately forward the film. So that is one thing. So you need to be very, very concentrated, um, not to by accident shoot on the same piece of negative um, and not forwarding. This cannot happen with a Leica M system to you, even with an analog Leica, like a Leica M6. You need to forward the film if you want to take the next picture. So that is one source of error or one source of error if you're used to this other type of photography. Then uh, if you look through the viewfinder here, it's similar to a rangefinder, uh, especially the Leica M system, which are rangefinder cameras, but um, you don't have frame lines, so your composition is very vague, uh, which is not a problem. It just gives these fun effects if something's in the frame that you re really haven't um, anticipated, but you do not need to focus. You don't see any focus indicator here if the subject you want to take a photo of is in focus. So if you forget to um, set your focus here to whatever your um, subject is or the distance your subject is, and you just hit the shutter button here, um, your subject might not be in focus. This also cannot really happen to you on a Leica M rangefinder because you have a focus patch in the middle and it should dawn on you um, at some point in time that you might not have focus. So you're kind of like, almost uh, forced to focus. Also, there's something that I want to show you quickly here. Many Leica M um, lenses, they have this little focus ring here and this finger rest. So when you hold the camera and you look through it, you anyway have your finger here and you know that you need to focus before you press um, the shutter. So this is also something that um, doesn't happen here. So if you forget that you set your focus to some other settings than for example, infinity in your last shot, um, you might take a photo with the wrong focus settings without knowing and without having any chance of um, basically uh, checking the results. Same holds for these primitive aperture settings here. And <clears throat> also it has a bulb mode here. Um, if you by accident with your finger come here and set it to B, um, you never know. You really find out very, very late. Having said all that, I do not want to say that uh, the Holger, the box cameras are bad cameras or anything along those lines. Don't understand me wrong. It is just if um, you come like me from uh, knowing exactly what you're doing and using tools that almost do not allow you to um, make a mistake. If you don't want to be in a mode where mistakes are okay, then I think you need a lot more concentration or being in the moment when taking photos um, with a camera like this. Now, if you have no idea about anything focusing with a Leica M system or anything along those lines or a complicated, more modern DSLR, and you're just into point and shoot, I think this is a great camera. You have just a few, few settings that you can take and um, yeah, that's it. You press the shutter and hope for the best. Also here, your only way of controlling your light situation is the film that you load. So if you load a ISO 100 film or a 400 film and so on and so forth. So it's a fun little camera, but what I have learned for myself is 
I need to be more concentrated with this type of camera than um, with a Leica M system. So what I want to say in this video is that um, when I say this is the most simple camera that I have ever used and allows me to take any photo that I want to take or makes it possible for me to take any photo that I would like to take in a composition that I would like to take, then still this is the tool of my choice and it gives me the most variety and allows me to do the least of errors. Whereas these two cameras force you, yes, to be a little bit more creative, but you can be the same way creative with the Leica M system, um, but you need to be very, very concentrated to take a technically, in quotes, correct photos with this camera or the box camera. So I would put these cameras also in the category of simple, simple but not easy. So Leica, simple and easy to use and less errors, and these are simple to use, but not easy. And I know this kind of like sounds counterintuitive, but um, I promise you, if you are experienced in some way and you go out with these cameras, you really will be, or you will have to be more concentrated than with your highly sophisticated camera. So um, when I realized that, I, I started to appreciate the Leica M system even more um, and it really became clear to me that this still stays up until now and who knows what kind of other cameras I might try in the future, but for now still this is the most simple and at the same time easy to use camera system known to me so far. And yeah, I just wanted to share my thoughts on what is simplicity and when is simple also equals easy. And yes, for me it is definitely here. now. Um, when I shot photos with this camera, what is also very interesting and fun is because it is so low quality and it is prone to light leaks, if you've ever tried it, I had massive light leaks of, on the first film that I tried. You have to even tape it off here because the production quality is so bad. So I tape off the, the window here that shows me how many shots I have left. I typically also tape here um, the sides where the film loader is because when I loaded the first film and I took out this camera for my camera bag, I accidentally uh, pulled down this here and then the side opened here. So this is also something that it's not so easy to take um, reliable photos even with this camera. But I'm eager to try it more. I will try it more. And uh, yes, I think I will do a video on this camera in the future. I don't know when because the two rolls that I've shot, I think I'm not really happy with the results yet. But um, yes, this is all that I wanted to talk about in this video when it comes to the terms um, simplicity equals easy or simplicity or simple but not easy. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these cameras, about the term, what experiences do you have with the term simple, what is your definition of the term simple. Anyway, so um, this is it for today's video. This is also probably the last video of this year. I hope you enjoyed this video and also maybe the other videos that you've seen throughout the year on my channel. I would like to thank you for watching and I'll see you next year.